Let's add a custom flower pot to Minecraft. All right, we found ourselves back in IntelliJ once more. And in this tutorial, we're going to be adding our flower to a flower pod. Now, this is actually a fairly straightforward process. So in our mod blocks class, we're just going to copy our flower. And we're going to call this the podit underscore lilac flower. And of course, in the name as well, podit underscore lilac flower. Now, this is going to be a flower pot block which as only takes two parameters. As its first parameter, it's going to take mod blocks dot lilac flower. And then the second one is just the normal block settings. Now here, we're actually going to copy from the potted allium. That's going to be fine. And let's also just get rid of the strength. That's going to be fine as well. Now, in this case, the actual well block is already added. Now, what's important though, is that we actually don't want an item associated with this block. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down here and I'm actually going to copy the register block method and we're going to call this the register block without block item. And then we're just going to remove the register block item call right here. And instead of the register block, we're going to say call the register block without block item method right here because the flower pot block exists when we put down a pot and then we right click it with the flower. So there's no real item associated with it. This is why we need the, to register it without a block item. What we also need to do in our tutorial client mod class, we need to add the actual render layer cutout as well. And then we'll go on to the JSON files. First of all, of course, once again, the translation, fairly straightforward, potted lilac flower. And then we're just going to make this the potted lilac flower. Now, this should only be important if we have something like, what am I looking at? So the mod where you can actually see what the blocks are called. Otherwise, this should not be necessary. Still, I highly recommend adding it nonetheless. And then, of course, this is still a normal block. So we need a block says JSON file. I will copy that over. And all of this is, of course, available to you in the description below GitHub repository and individual gist as well. You can see the block says JSON file is completely normal, as we have seen plenty of times now. And the block model JSON is a little bit different, but also should be fairly self-explanatory once we see it. So we can see we now have a flower pot cross in this case, and then we're specifying a plant. And this is once again just our lilac flower. So in here, we specify the actual flower that should be displayed inside of the pot. For fabric, that's actually all that we need to do. So in Forge, for example, this is a little bit more complicated, actually, interestingly enough. But in fabric, this is all we need to do. So adding you know, calling the new flower pot block right here with our flower already adds it to all of the lists that it needs to be added to. So I guess let's see if it works. All right, we found ourselves back in Minecraft. So let's see if I put the pot down and I right click. There you go. Now we have a potted plant and we can put our potted plants, you know, wherever we want decorating our homes. So that is pretty freaking cool. One more thing I wanted to mention at the end here is that you can always go down to the external libraries right? And then down to this one right here, Minecraft, Minecraft project mapped and so on and so forth. Because the loot table for the actual pot is a little bit different. So this would be under data, Minecraft, loot tables, blocks, and then we could, for example, take a look at the potted allium here, for example, just if you want to add a loot table here, just copy this over, replace the allium with your custom flower and then we you should be totally fine just wanted to mention this because you know sometimes people do forget that the external libraries exist everything is in there and you can basically always go in there copy over stuff that you need for the particular functionality of a block and you should be fine all right but that would already be it for this tutorial right here i hope you found this useful and you learned something new if you did i would very much appreciate your like and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one so yeah